बंदे गुजरात हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू यस आई एम ऑल्सो फाइन टुडे वी विल लर्न एक्टिविटी फोर बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट एक्टिविटी फोर आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस सम ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स महेंद्र भाई इज अ डॉक्टर देन किरीट भाई अल्पेश भाई राजू भाई एंड मुकेश Kirit Bai is a policeman. Alpesh Bai is a soldier. Raju Bai is a teacher. Mukesh is a driver. First, Mahendra Bai is a doctor. Who is a doctor? In this sentence, Mahendra Bai is a doctor. Then next, Kirit Bai is policeman. Who is a policeman yes good kid bhai then the third who is soldier alpesh bhai very good fourth who is a teacher raju bhai is a teacher very good and the last one is mukesh is a driver in this sentence he is we can see two types of nouns let's see we can see the sentence mahendra bhai is a doctor who is a doctor mahendra bhai doctor can be someone but mahendra bhai is exact noun so mahendra bhai is a proper noun and a doctor a doctor can be someone Mahendra Bai can be a doctor. Mahesh Bai can be a doctor. Raju Bai can be a doctor. In this sentence, a doctor is called a common noun. Now let's see another sentence. Now one of the sentences is, "Kiri Tuai is a policeman." Kiri Tuai is proper noun. A policeman is common noun. The policeman can be someone, but here Kirit Bai is exact name of a person. So Kirit Bai is a proper noun. So policeman is called common noun. Let's see another sentence. In this sentence, we can see Pesh Bai is a soldier. Who is a soldier? 
अल्पेश बाय वेरी गुड अल्पेश बाय इज प्रॉपर नाउन देन वॉट इज अल्पेश बाय कैन एनीबडी टेल मी यस अल्पेश बाय इज अ सोल्जर इन दिस अ सोल्जर इज अ कॉमन नाउ लेट्स रीड राजू बाय इज अ टीचर हु इज अ टीचर यस वेरी गुड राजू बाय इज अ टीचर सो राजू बाय इज कॉल्ड अ प्रॉपर नाउ एंड वॉट इज राजू बाय यस राजू बाय इज अ टीचर अ टीचर इज अ कॉमन नाउ नाउ लेट सी द लास्ट सेंटेंस लेट सी Mukesh is a driver. Can anybody tell me who is a driver? Yes, Mukesh. Mukesh is a driver. So Mukesh is a proper noun. And uh, please tell me who what is Mukesh? Yes, Mukesh is a driver. Yes, a driver is a common noun. So dear friends, we have read five sentences and uh, we have learnt proper noun and common noun so dear friends i hope you all are familiar with proper noun and common noun then i will give some examples vijay bhai is a postman in this sentence vijay bhai is called proper noun and a postman can be a common noun okay very good you all are familiar about proper noun and common noun so dear friends we have learned proper noun and common noun now let's go on another types of sentences countable nouns and the uncountable nouns let's see some interesting pictures on the screen now dear friends what do you see in the picture can anybody tell me yes we always doing this yes what is it it is milk you are right and uh, we should uh, drink milk every day because it keeps our body fit and it keeps us healthy do you drink milk every day very good let's see another picture on the screen what do you see in this picture we all are familiar about this and uh, we always drink can anybody tell me what is it yes it is tea we always drink tea in the morning or in the evening let's see under the picture what do you see in this picture yes very good it's vegetables now let's see another picture what can we see on the screen yes it's g now dear students what do you see on the screen yes water we always drink water and we should drink water now let's see another picture what is this yes this is wheat we can make chapati from the flour of wheat now dear students we have seen different pictures on the screen first we have seen the picture of milk tea vegetables ghee water and wheat now can you tell me this 
objects can be counted or uncounted please tell me you can can you count milk can you say one milk two milk three milk no we can't say one milk two milk three milk it represents quantity we can say 1 liter milk 2 liter milk 500 grams milk but we can't say 1 milk 2 milk 3 milk because milk is an uncountable noun and then we see the picture of tea thus t is also uncountable noun because we can't count t it is quantity then next picture we can see on the screen thus we also can't count vegetables we can't say two vegetables three vegetables but we only can say 1 kg vegetables 2 kg vegetables then we see on the screen the picture of water thus water also can't be counted it is liquid so water is uncountable nouns then we show in the last picture wheat wheat also can't be counted so it is called uncountable nouns so dear friends we have seen the pictures of uncountable nouns let's see another pictures on the screen what do you see in this picture can anybody tell me yes you are right bananas then next wow what do you see in this picture have you ever tasted yes gulab jamun when we when we talk about gulab jamun our mouth waters then let's see another picture what do you see in this picture yes chapatis now let's see another picture what do you see in this picture yes very good mangoes let's see the picture of banana again now dear students can you tell me how many bananas are there in the picture yes 11 bananas let's see another picture in this picture how many gulab jamun are there Yes, very good. There are ten gulab jamuns in the picture. Now, in this picture, how many chapatis can you see on the screen? Yes, there are six chapatis on the screen. Let's see another picture. How many mangoes are there on the screen? Yes, very good. There are four mangoes on the screen. now dear students we have discussed and we have seen so many pictures on the screen some pictures are countable and some pictures are uncountable we have seen milk water wheat these pictures these objects can be counted and for questioning we use how much for water 
how much water for milk how much milk for wheat how much wheat for vegetables how much vegetables for askings all these type of uncountable nouns we can use how much and then we show chapatis mangoes bananas etc these nouns are countable nouns and for countable nouns we can use how many we can say how many bananas do you eat every day we can say how many chapatis can you eat we can say how many mangoes can you eat so we have learnt the difference between countable nouns and uncountable nouns when we can use how much and when we can use how many okay dear students now dear students see on the screen write whether the following nouns are countable or uncountable the first is petrol can you tell me petrol is a countable noun or uncountable noun yes petrol is uncountable noun good why petrol is an uncountable noun because it can't be counted the second benches can you tell me is this countable noun or uncountable noun yes countable nouns the third mango juice yes very good mango juice uncountable noun four apples very good apples countable nouns because we can count apples fifth rice countable or uncountable yes uncountable six air very good uncountable seven books countable nouns very good eight hair yes hair is also uncountable nouns because we can't count hair ninth blood uncountable nouns very good and the last one is bags yes countable nouns now dear friends we have learnt proper noun common noun countable noun uncountable nouns when how much is used and uh, when how many is used now let's open the text page number 27 activity 4 let's read activity 4 a work in pairs read and understand the dialogue enact the dialogue in the class form another dialogue with the help of words given in the bracket rashmi says good afternoon aunty radha ben says good afternoon where are you going rashmi says i am going to the market radha ben says will you bring some sugar for me rashmi says why not how much aunty radha ben says 2 kg please rashmi says sure see you now dear students we have to use these underlined words these uh, words in the bracket and uh, we have to form another dialogues 
Dear friends, we have read the dialogue and then let's enjoy some other videos on the screen. Like this dialogue we have read in the textbook, let's see another interesting video of Jay and Hasil. Good afternoon, Hasil. Good afternoon. Where are you going? I am going to my place. Will you bring some washing powder for my mother? Why not? How much washing powder? One kg, please. Sure. See you. See you. Now, dear students, we enjoy the video of Harsil and Jay. In this video, two boys are talking about uh, going to the market and uh, want to buy washing powder. Now, let's uh, enjoy other videos of two girls. Good afternoon, Tejal. Good afternoon. Where are you going? I am going to the market. Will you bring some milk for me? Why not? How much, Tejal? One liter, please. Sure. See you. Now, dear students, we have enjoyed two videos of girls and boys. Now, let's form another dialogue using the words given in the bracket below the dialogue. I will give you some minutes for form a dialogue using the words. Now, dear students, Using the words milk, sweet, tea, vegetables, key, wheat, we have to form another dialogue. Let's form a dialogue. Let's see the dialogue of Pinky and Maitri. Pinky says, Good evening, Maitri. Maitri says, Good evening. Where are you going? Pinky says, I am going to the market. Maitri says, will you bring some ghee for me? Pinky says, of course. How much? Maitri says, 500 grams, please. Pinky says, sure. Anything else? Maitri says, no, thanks. Dear friends, this is a dialogue between Pinky and Maitri. Now let's see another dialogue using another words given bracket. Let's see another dialogue between Sejal and Tejal. Sejal says, Good afternoon, Tejal. Tejal says, Good afternoon. Where are you going? Sejal says, I am going to the market. Tejal says, Will you bring some milk for me? Sejal says, Why not? How much Tejal? Tejal says, one liter, please. Tejal says, sure, see you. Now, dear friends, we have read the dialogue and uh, we also enjoyed two dialogues. And uh, we also formed another dialogues using two words. You have to form another dialogues using another words given in the bracket. Now, let's read the second dialogues, page number 28. Let's read another dialogue. Ajay says, Hi Vijay, ready for the eating competition? Vijay says, Yes, ready. Ajay says, What will you eat? Vijay says, I will eat laddus. Ajay says, how many laddus can you eat? Vijay says, five. Ajay says, I can't believe you. Are you sure? Vijay says, yes, I am confident. Dear students, in these dialogues, there is a word laddus here. For asking about laddus, the word how many have been used? Laddus can be counted, so how many is used for asking question about laddu? 
now you have to form another dialogues using the words given in the bracket i will give you a minute the words given the bracket are roti gulab jamun pizza mango banana so you have to use these all words to form other dialogues let's form other dialogues i will give you time teachers are requested to help students friends i have made one example for you using the word gulam jamun arti says hi jay ready for the inti competition jay says yes ready arti says what will you eat jay says i will eat gulam jamun arti says how many gulab jamun can you eat jay says four arti says i can't believe are you sure jay says yes i am confident so dear students this is dialogues about gulam jamun and for asking questions how many used have you learnt how many how many used for countable nouns and gulab jamun can be counted so how many is used dear friends we have read some other dialogues and we also have formed another dialogues using words given in the bracket let's enjoy another video on the screen hi khushi good morning good morning where are you going i am going to the bookstore will you bring some notebooks for me why not how many notebooks four notebooks please sure see you so dear friends we also enjoyed the video between khushi and jaya they are talking about going to the market and asking about some notebooks in this dialogues how many notebooks is used now form another dialogues using the words we all have become familiar about countable and countable how much and how many now dear friends let me check that did you understand how much and how many let's fill in the blanks fill in the blanks with how much and how many first blank is blank petrol do you need who can answer this blank how much or how many yes how much the correct answer is how much now second blank blank birds are there on the tree who will fill in the blanks yes very good how many how many birds are there on the tree birds uh, can be counted so we use how many for asking questions now let's third blank blank bananas can you eat who can give answer yes how many how many bananas can you eat bananas can be counted so we have used how many now fourth blank blank how do you have for your country can you count low no yes how much how much low do you have for your country now the last one is languages can you speak languages hindi english urdu 
yes very good how many languages can you speak because languages can be counted so we have used how many word for asking question now dear students we have learned different types of nouns proper nouns common nouns uncountable nouns countable nouns dear students i hope you all became familiar you all understand about this topic now see you on the next session now dear students bye have a nice day see you गुजरात